What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today and we're here in the desert and I'm here for some stuff but I'm gonna mainly talk about five so what I was gonna say before the battery died on the X-H1 is that this video was five things I dislike about the X-H1 and then I'm gonna make another video called five things I like about the X-H1. So the number one thing that I dislike about this camera is definitely the battery life. You're only gonna get about 30 to 45 minutes of 4K video on a single battery. And if you're shooting photos, well, you're looking at something like 300 to 400, which is kind of unacceptable in 2018. If you want to get more battery life, you have to buy the grip. That's also gonna extend your recording time from 15 minutes of video to up to 30 minutes of video. they're figuring out wardrobe stuff the number two thing that I dislike about the X-H1 would be file splitting and record limit so with the X-H1 it's the same with the X-T2 but basically when you're recording it's only gonna record for like five minutes and it splits the clips so yeah it's gonna record for the full 15 minutes but it's going to split those into three different clips I think it has something to do with the file system so it's like fat 32 versus X fat and for some reason they use that and it's kind of annoying because when you bring it into editing you're gonna end up having like all these different clips just to have your one clip and it's kind of annoying but it's something that this camera has and again with the record time you're limited to 15 minutes without the grip and 30 minutes with the grip so that's just kind of something you need to know The third thing I don't like about the X-H1 is the aliasing in Moray in 120 FPS. It's awesome having 120 FPS in 1080p, but unfortunately there's a lot of aliasing, a lot of Moray. And if you're shooting with a foreground subject that's in focus and the background's really blurry, like if you're shooting at like f1.4, f1.2, it actually looks okay, but a lot of the times I wouldn't really recommend shooting in 120 FPS. I don't know if they can up the bitrate or the processing can only handle that much, but that's just one thing to keep in mind. Fourth thing I don't really like is the jerky IBIS and it's awesome that they put in-body stabilization into this camera but when you're shooting video with it it's very jerky it doesn't look all that natural like the GH5 does and if you're doing handheld video and it's kind of like locking side to side and doing kind of that jerky motion it just doesn't really look all that great so it's better if you're shooting with a gimbal with this camera because the IBIS is just not really fine-tuned yet I don't know if with some firmware updates they'll be able to like smooth it or ease it around but uh, yeah, it's just something you'll notice is it's really snappy and jerky when you're using it handheld. Start near the top and then we'll end back down here. Yeah, and I'll follow you with the drone. All right, so we just shot some stuff with a drone. This is like my dream shooting in the desert, but we gotta do one more reason why I don't like the X-H1. 
So we've had an awesome day shooting in the desert. This is my fifth reason why I don't like the X-H1 and that's video autofocus. Unfortunately, it's just not that reliable. It kind of hunts, but it really depends on the lens you're using. If you're using something like the 16 to 55, it's not that bad if you're using something like the 56 millimeter f1.2, you're gonna have hit or miss autofocus. And that's really disappointing because they've added features like sensitivity and speed. And I really thought we were gonna be able to customize the autofocus and make it better. But maybe with the future firmware update that's coming out, they will be able to fix the autofocus and we'll have better results. But as it stands right now, it's really not that great. Anyway, those are the five reasons why I dislike the X-H1. But stay tuned for the next video because I'm gonna talk about the five reasons why I love the X-H1. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, it's hot.